this is my favorite space for sure So uh, yeah, I'm back home and this used to be my little studio. I used to have lights set up. I didn't set up the other one because there's no point. <laughs> I had a nice little table. I had something draped over the table. It all looked good. I had a chair. Then I moved away. So I don't know what the point of this was. Ooh. All right, uh, mom, dad, Steven. Sorry, I just ruined the uh, the basement after five months for a one minute bit in the video. Also, you're probably like, where'd all your hair go? Continuity and timing are something I am terrible at. And one of the things I wanna fix, and it leads me into my first point, and that's about truly creating every day. It's something that I've gotten away from. Um, Posting every day on Instagram has been has been great, but it's not creating every day to me. I mean, really going out every single day, picking up a camera, filming something, uh, shooting a photo, set of photos, whatever it may be, and I've gotten away from that, and it's something I definitely want to get back into. I know sometimes life gets busy, and you can't, sometimes it just happens, you can't uh, time it up the way it needs to go and you can't really create every day but it's something I need to get better at um, so yeah I'm back home uh, in this little studio of mine where it all kind of started and it really started actually here a couple years ago when I was in university and I watched uh, this video That video doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's just Casey kind of destroying a camera or fixing it. Depends what you think. But I watched that and then from there I watched all his other vlogs and then from there I was introduced to Peter and Chris and Lizzie and that video was the catalyst for everything kind of going on in my life um, now. And it was the real igniter for wanting to be a full-time YouTuber and creator. And uh, this video is me getting back to that and remembering just exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so we're going to hop ahead to uh, longer haired Cody from this morning to explain a little bit more about what I'm talking about, if that makes sense. All right, so I am at, out at Dundas Peak this morning, as you can see, I haven't got the haircut yet. Um, because I kind of reversed the clips. I knew I wanted to come out here and shoot it for sunset or sunrise. $15 to get a little ticket to park here. It's ridiculous. $15. You see that? $15. I get it because it's a conservation area of sorts. Um, but there was no option for like an hour or two hours. It was just all day pass. $15. So you come here, you, you press that button, and it gives you one option. $15 a day. It takes about 15 minutes to walk that way and get to the main, the main spot. Once this all gets blown out by the sunlight, I'm kind of just going to leave. <laughs> um, anyway, I really wanted to start getting my ass in gear to start doing my own thing 
So like I said at the beginning of this video, it, it starts with this video. Um, I already have a video lined up for later in the week that I filmed already. So I'm happy about that. That's a step that I didn't do before. And I'm realizing that you got to start doing lots of things kind of all at once, especially if you want to do YouTube because you just don't have enough time sometimes. Um, so that's something I'm slowly learning and figuring out. And another thing is something that I've noticed uh, with Casey is everything's not perfect. And here's what I mean by everything's not perfect. So if you watch Casey's videos, you'll notice that um, sometimes the lighting is it's too dark or uh, the videos are too loud. You know, he's in New York City, or he used to be, and there used to be a lot of commotion going on and everything, and not everything was like absolutely perfect in terms of lighting, angles, video, whatever it may be, but he always got the shot and his main focus was always the story. And that's something I've been struggling with is trying to focus too much on perfection, which is why I go ahead, I film a clip, and then I delete it all. Sometimes I just format the entire memory card, which you should never do. Um, so more and more I'm realizing that not everything needs to be perfect, and I'm surrounded by a lot of people that help let me know that, for sure. Um, and it's more about just getting out the story. And that's another thing that I had a problem uh, sharing because I couldn't figure out what the story is. And then I realized that the story is just this. Um, the story is my life, what I wanna do, how I wanna help others. And again, Casey touched on a point the other day in a podcast with Philip DeFranco, and he said, uh, he said something that I've been thinking a lot um, that I was gonna make an entire video on, honestly. And he said it word for word, and that is part of the reason he vlogged and filmed his life is because he found it interesting so there was just always a chance that there's somebody else out there that would find it interesting as well and maybe they could be inspired by it they could take it they could learn from it and that's really what my goal is and that's what i want to do um you know in a world of in a world of as of 2017 it says 7.53 billion people that's a lot of people there's bound to be somebody that's interested in what you're doing uh is going through almost exactly what you're going through so you might as well do it and share your story and share what you want to do. So that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. Quick little sidebar. Check out how janky and messed up this tripod setup is I had when I was out shooting over there. Just for no reason at all. Just because I, I really want people to see it. I mean, I tell you, that takes that takes some sort of uh, skill, maybe. It takes some sort of something, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, back home to finish up this video. So, oh yeah, no, not time to take the, uh, the hat off yet. Post haircut. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I have for this video. What was the point? sort of just to reignite that original desire I had to become a YouTuber and um, you know maybe a few little words in this short video are going to inspire somebody else to do the same and um, that's all I'm really looking for so next video will be up on Wednesday quick editing note I meant the next video is going to be out on uh, Sunday not Wednesday this is Wednesday when this video came out Whoops, stay tuned for that. Uh, as I mentioned, one video is gonna be vlogs, something like that, and the other video during the week will be a editing, how I edit, edit with me, some sorts of video. So that's another thing I kind of forgot to mention. Uh, one video per week is gonna be a vlog, um, either hiking or out doing something, telling some sort of a story. And the second video is going to be a location to Lightroom, how I edit, edit with me, things like that. Um, yeah, more of the editing side of things or like the technical side of things, whereas the vlog is going to have to 
going to revolve around some sort of story or idea in this big old fat head of mine. Yeah. So be sure to subscribe, um, check out my Instagram, follow me over there, send me a message. If you ever want to meet, shoot, hang out, do anything like that, create something together, um, I'd be more than happy to. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.